turn the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. That was a common practice. The prince had his horse shot under him. The prince had his horse shot under, footnote one, not true, to raise the bodies of man, woman and child up out of the grave. My name is Miriam Gamble. I am a writer from Belfast in Northern Ireland, uh, mainly of poems, though I also write personal essays, lyric essays. I work as a lecturer in creative writing and I live right beside the Union Canal. I think I felt quite scared when I took it on, uh, just because it's a very big text or collection of texts. Um, and Therefore, I kind of initially had no sense, had no idea where I could even start. And in the end, I just did, did just focus on book one. I didn't um, go into <laughs> all, all of the other volumes. Blind panic is probably the, be <laughs> the best description of the first interaction that I had with it. I mean, as a writer, I generally am quite interested in perspective and that different people experience the same thing in radically different ways. Um, so I write. I write with an emphasis on perspective quite a lot and so in some ways actually although I talked about how difficult this this was for me in other ways this text is absolutely ideal for me because it's a kind of tapestry of different people's voices and different people's experiences. The way that I've gone about it might have some relation to my having been around the Culloden exhibition at Inverness on the site um, which is a quite immersive sensory experience so when you go in you go down one side of the room and you read the Jacobite narrative of events, then you go down the other side and you read the other side's uh, version of the same events to give you a kind of sense of what it might have been like to be in the middle of it. I think ideally I'd hear this poem being read by three different people rather than just one voice because the voices are meant to sort of cut in over one another. So I'd like, I'd like it to be a sensory experience. 